It was on the windswept plains of Amboseli, Kenya, that we saw a veil of dust overtake the earth, like a biblical scourge at the end of time. In the middle were elephants whose ears billowed like sails against gale force winds. Visibility disappeared. Kilimanjaro, that loomed as the great ice-capped sentinel mountain of the continent, vanished, and elephants were blown like fragile toys in the theater of some insuperable force. The human, the wild, and the domestic have walked side by side since the dawn of civilization. Elephant migration paths form part of our genetic memory and nomadic heritage. Like motion in parallel time, the Maasai, supreme pastoralists, walk towards a watering hole, while a herd of elephants come out of the dust like an apparition. There are stories from the first peoples of Africa that attest to a remarkable bond between elephants and people, a bond that goes beyond folklore and legend, a deep psychological and metaphysical alliance we sever at our own peril. There is a legend among both the Kikuyu and the Chaga people of Mount Kilimanjaro that elephants formerly were men and women who, like Adam and Eve, gave offense to God, not in their case by disobedience, but by vanity and extravagance. To make themselves look beautiful, they washed in milk, and for this the Creator expelled them from their Eden, inflicting on them milk-white tusks as a perpetual reminder of their folly. Sometimes it was said, when out of sight, a young elephant would change back into a human. For the Samburu of Kenya, the elephant family structure, or Tenebo, is a model for that of the human family. The extended family of Alo mothers and siblings take care of the young, creating a coherence the Samburu saw as an ideal way for humans to interact in the world. The elephant's social complexity is part of our own larger mind and relationship to existence. Indeed, it is said there is a seed of a human being inside each elephant. The elephants, so close to humans in their emotional range of compassion, altruism, devotion, culture, bonding, and even mourning, have been honored by the Samburu for centuries. They say that of all species, humans' relationship to elephants is the most important, a respect for each other that goes back to the very roots of our relationship to the earth and other sentient beings. If we are to survive, perhaps it is time we respected not just our technological achievements, but also the premise that we are all extensions of each other. The Samburu harbor secrets that may hold the answer to our future, and not only who we are as human beings, but also where we are going as a species. Elephants and humans have moved across the plains and forests of Africa for thousands of generations. We may even have followed their migration paths out of the continent alongside them. As self-aware beings who pass the self-recognition test, whose family dynamics mirror our own, elephants are now threatened as never before. They have walked the earth as awe-inspiring sentinels since the human race began. These, the members of the family that comprise the mammoths, the mastodons, and now the last surviving elephants on earth. For countless millennia, we have marveled at the mass of their kind, the great steps they marshal across the vast open spaces of Africa. But we have also plundered and desecrated them for bloodlust, conquest, vanity, and greed. Elephants have been attacked and killed for their flesh or their ivory since the dawn of the human race. Today, tens of thousands of elephants are being killed every year for the Asian market, 
that continues to ransack elephants for statuettes, toothpicks, ivory stamps, cigarette holders, and other trinkets. How long can this endure? If the killing continues, the great herds will be gone by the middle of the next decade. The elephants, like the whales, represent perhaps the purest expression of the collective unconscious of the life force on Earth. If our century is the last to see elephants roaming in the wild, we will have lost the greatest terrestrial ballast in our history, and countless other species will be affected. The last elephants are trying to hold on to an increasingly tenuous Earth. They are part of our origins, and they form an ineffable part of who we are in the world. If we should lose the elephants, the whales, and the other beings of this miraculous planet, we will have lost our humanity. We will have lost our place on this earth, and our souls will never be the same. Their future is our fate and our responsibility.